I am so glad I saw this before the year is out. Hi everyone, it's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy. How you doing? Um, and we are talking about a movie today. Movies and TV that we do here. A movie I've been really excited to talk about, and we're finally talking about it. You know what it is. Uh, so let's just get going. Um, Grant, the movie and TV guy. Hello, movies and TV that you here. Today we're talking about licorice pizza. Oof, love this. All right, so. Licorice Pizza is written and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, uh, God. He's God. Um, this is his ninth film. Um, it stars um, two newcomers who are movie stars. Um, Alana Heim of the, of the rock band Heim and Cooper Hoffman, son of Philip Seymour Hoffman, the late great Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, Cooper Hoffman plays Gary Valentine. He is a young man growing up in the in the mid to late seventies um, in this in the valley, um, and he's a child actor. Um, he's actually based on Gary Goutzman, who is uh, currently the co-president of Playtone Pictures and was a uh, in the movie Years Mine and Hours. Essentially, um, he meets Alana Kane, played by Alana Heim, um, whose parents and sisters are played by her actual parents and sisters. Which I thought was a nice touch. Um, she, he's a 15 year old child actor. She's a 25 year old photographer's assistant. They meet by chance. He wants to hang out with her. She's like, no, that's weird. I'm an adult. You're a child. And, but she finds herself mysteriously. It's not a romance, but she finds herself mysteriously drawn to him in a friendly way. She does really start kind of like him, but it's almost in that way of. She never makes a move on him. Like, it's always more of a one-sided kind of affection on his part. Um, but she does care for him. And essentially, uh, she starts soon hanging out with him. Little things like being his um, chaperone when his mother can't fly him out uh, to do, uh, like, a meet and greet for a movie. Like, a, like a interview performance variety show thing for his Yours, Mine, and Ours-esque film. Where uh, Christina Eversall basically plays Lucille Ball. Um, <laughs> she's not a very nice person, but essentially, um, that's kind of the movie. I mean, they kind of keep finding their ways into each other's lives, and the shenanigans ensue, and, you know, dawdling, but you're never bored, because the dawdling is, is delightful. So, you guys already probably know what I'm going to say about this movie. Do I even need to tell you what the stars are? You know what it's going to be. Um, I love Paul Thomas Anderson. But I was curious, because this felt like the most normal movie he's made. It's still a Paul Thomas Anderson movie in that there is this sort of weird, offbeat sense of danger in certain parts. Not only danger on the level of external danger, but also the danger of this relationship. The kind of nature of it, where it's kind of love, but it's not romantic. It's more like a friendship or like an older sibling. You know, that kind of thing. But I'm just going to come right out and say this. Um, as you know, uh, my best of the year is coming up this weekend. I don't rank my children. I, th I used to. I, just, I felt icky about it. I would say this, though. Next to another film, which anybody who watches my videos really will know what it is from this summer. This is probably tied as my favorite movie of 2021, if I had to pick. Of the movies I most want to rewatch again, this is number one. Um, I adored Licorice Pizza. I adored every single second of it. That's right, I'm in the majority. I love this movie. And what I, one of the thing that really made this movie is there are some big names in it, but they're blink and you'll miss it parts. Like Bradley Cooper is in a, a sequence, a chunk of the movie, and a great chunk of the movie. And he's great in it as uh, this producer who is... <laughs> to say he's intense is an understatement. Um, that he tries to sell a waterbed to, which is one of the many business venture shenanigans uh, Gary and Alana get into. And his energy just works. Uh, you got Sean Penn in there, Tom Waits, <sighs> waiting for him to talk about the Ultra City Smiths. For those who get that, you get a cookie. Um, uh, Ultra City Smiths is super underrated. <clears throat> anyway, um, but Tom Waits, great musician, also a pretty good actor in the movie. If you don't know who he is, uh, movie lovers, he's the dude with the bunny in Seven Psychopaths. And he's in the movie, but you also got. Um, the other kind of actors playing Gary's group of friends, there's a really terrific moment where, uh, that's in the trailer where Alana's talking to her sister and she's like, like, 
you think it's weird that I hang out with Gary and his friends all the time? And he goes, and so he's like, I don't know, what do you think? And he goes, I think it's really weird that he can't out with Gary and his 15 year old friends all the time. <laughs> I love this movie. Um, from about 45 seconds in, I was like, even if this takes a Stephen King twist and there's a giant spider monster, I'm going to love this movie. Like, I just, I knew 45 seconds in from the opening scene where he's putting on the moves trying to talk to Alana Haim the first time. I was like, I love this movie. I adore this movie. There's nothing else to say. Uh, the soundtrack was perfect. The filmmaking was perfect. I, and it just, it's a breeze, but it's a memorable breeze. They don't make them like this anymore, and I wish they did. I'm glad that Hollywood, and it, it was an MGM production, put money and gave the money to make this film that feels like a movie that they wouldn't have, they would have made in the 70s. I love this film. Ligurge Pizza, that's right, you see it. Bang, five out of five stars. This is about as close to perfect as Hollywood filmmaking gets. I absolutely effing loved it. No, I'm just kidding. I fucking loved it. There. It's ready to R. I can curse. I loved it. I loved this movie. I loved every second of it. I didn't want it to end. I, w I never say this about indie movies, but P.T. Anderson, six years from now when the timeline will line up with the 80s, bring these guys back and do Licorice Pizza Part 2. I'm serious. I want to see where these characters are in the next decade of time. I love this film. Co uh, Cooper Hoffman and Alana Haim, your movie stars. I hope you get all the love and affection you greatly deserve for this. Five out of five stars for Pizza. I just... This is like the kind of great movie where it's like, if you have a theater in your neighborhood that is showing this movie, turn off this video. Like, drop everything. Like, you can, you know, you got homework, you can do homework... You, you can do homework later tonight. Get get your butts in the car and go see Licorice Pizza. Like, walk, don't run. This is that kind of movie. All right. I don't know how anyone couldn't love this movie. This is a perfect movie. Um, all right. Early contender for the best of the decade list. Um, all right. Let's close the book on it. Uh, trailer Trash. Let's talk about some Trailer Trash. How about it? So. Uh, nope. Trailer Trash. Scream, it was a quick one, it's good. The Northman. Now this is um, the new film from Robert Eggers, so of course I, I'm very excited. Um, cannot wait. Uh, the Northman. Uh, Marry Me, we talked about it, you can see it. The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. This is the film where Nicolas Cage plays Nicolas Cage. Of course I can't wait for it. Uncharted, talked about it, looks good. Really getting sick of the trailer though. Dog, looks good. Um, I like Channing Tatum. Cyrano, we talked about it, looks good. Was there Sharma? Yeah, kind of. Um, the, the There's a roll call kind of thing, and there is a, a scene throughout like most of the credits. And then after the credits, there's some, not scenes, but little old-timey movie Easter eggs that I think are worth sticking around for. So yeah, stay around through the credits. Okay, we will be back later for the final film reviews of, the, of this year, including French Exit, Titan, Lamb, and The Lost Daughter, as well as the best of the year list. And the Harry Potter reunion. And um, in the coming weeks, we also have... Um, I already got tickets for the 355. Um, Scream. Uh, Bell. The anime film Bell. As well as Redeeming Love. And in February, we got a review coming up. I got advancing for Studio 666. As well as we might do a video on I got a ticket for the Fathom event for Betty White. Um, we might talk about that as well. That'll all be next time, and until next time, I'm Grant the Movie and TV Guy. I see it all. I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love you all, Pessimist. I love you for a thousand. Be kind to one another. If you like this video, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does, but that's what it's supposed to do. So I've been told. And if you want to find me on our reviews of this and other fun stuff, you can check me out on letterbox.com at Grant the Movie and TV Guy. Some of you already have, but even if you haven't, uh, take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health. It's super important. And go see Liquor's Pizza right now. Drop, Stop what you're doing. Turn off the TV right now. All right. Bye. See you later.